Hey everybody, I'm Shroomy Joe, and I believe a redstone piston-based entrepreneur like myself has two roles. The first is to turn a wall into not a wall. The second is to turn something that's not a wall into a wall. Which is why I've decided to turn this wonderfully modelled anvil lamp combo into a wall. And a floor. Don't forget the floor. This will be a bit of a bonus video, because you don't only get the tutorial, you also get an explanation of how all the redstone works. So you can do other things like this in the future. I know what you're thinking. Come on, Shroomy Joe. You can't push anvils. Pistons just won't allow it. Ah, but anvils can fall. And a falling anvil is no longer a block, it's now an entity. And pistons can push entities. So essentially, all I have to do is get this piston to retract one block. The anvil starts falling, and then the piston extends again, while the anvil is still an entity, and the slime block bounces it up. The lamp block acts as a barrier to stop the anvil flying into the sky. The mechanism for the lamp is slightly more complicated. Essentially, these two pistons on the side swap out the wall block with the lamp block. This is controlled by this red circuit. Essentially, when the red circuit turns off for one tick and then turns back on again, the two pistons swap places, like this. I'm not entirely sure why it does this, but it's useful. In order to make the lamp block go out one block further than the wall, I use a double piston extender instead of just an ordinary piston. Essentially, the thing that powers this piston here is this repeater going into this block. But this is a wall block, so that means that when the wall block gets pushed in, there's no more wall block here, which means this piston doesn't get powered. Which means that the wall block doesn't get pushed out one block further, so that you just end up with a flat wall. The only time it gets pushed out one block further is when the lamp is there. And now for the tutorial. This is where you'll be making your pop-out anvil lamp. First thing that you have to do is go down four blocks like this and place a sticky piston facing upward with a slime block in its face. There should be a two block gap in here. Now come back around here and place a sticky piston facing inwards like this. Now come up like this. Place a double piston extender like that. And place normal pistons on the sides like so, and that is your entire piston layout done. First off is the blue circuit, so what you want to do is come down like this, place two blocks out like this, make a sort of arrow shape, and remove the middle block. Now place blocks up like this around in all the corners. Place a sticky piston facing upwards in this corner. Place a repeater on four ticks here, repeater on two ticks here, Redstone on these blocks. Now place two blocks coming out like this. Repeater on two ticks here and redstone here. And that is your blue circuit done. You should be able to power this piston from this line of redstone here. But if you want a button out the front, you can also place redstone here. Block like block like this. Repeater going to that block. And then bring the redstone around like this. Now if you power this redstone, it should power your blue circuit. Now for the green circuit, which will do your anvil extension. So place a block in here like this, with a repeater on four ticks here. Place a block down like this, with redstone on this block. Block up. Torch on this side. Block up like this. Torch here. Another block, and another torch here. So the torch should go like this. Now, place a repeater on two ticks here, going into a block, and bring a block down with redstone on top of this, redstone torch on here. Now, place a few blocks going around this piston, like so. Place repeaters here, 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 and here, and redstone here, and change this repeater to two ticks. And that should power your anvil extension. 
Now if you place an anvil here and a button here and press the button, your anvil should get bounced up. Don't have too much fun of this though, because after a while the anvil will get damaged. Now for the yellow circuit which will control your double piston extender. Place a block like this in the middle, torch on top, block on top of the torch. Now place blocks going around like this, and more blocks going around like this, and place a slab here. Now place redstone on these blocks, and redstone on this block, and this block. Place two repeaters on four ticks here, and one repeater on one tick. A repeater on one tick here, and a repeater on four ticks here. Place a block here, and a block here, and a repeater on one tick here. And that is your double piston extender circuit done. Now for the red circuit, we're just going to control your side pistons. Place a block like this, repeater on two ticks, piston facing upwards, Cauldron filled with water like this. Place a block here, or the comparator here. Block up, torch up, block up again. Blocks like this. Repeater here and redstone here. Now place an upside down half slab here. And a block here. Block up like this. And three blocks going along here. Now place redstone here. And a repeater here. And don't place in your redstone yet. First you want to place in your lantern. Now place in the redstone. Go down here and make sure your anvil is in place. And now the entire thing should work. Press the button. And it appears. Press it again. And it's gone. If you feel that the tutorial wasn't enough, there will be a world download down in the description, so you can check out the build yourself. Otherwise, if you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment down in the comments section. And if you like this video, then please like this video, and subscribe for more content. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Shroomy Joe with a capital S. Otherwise, that's about it for me, so bye.